Welcome back to another video. I'm your tech guide, Wayne. And the video today, I'm gonna to be sharing a review of the Gab phone from Gab Wireless. For those of you not familiar, Gab Wireless is a cellular phone company that offers a very basic service with phones that don't have internet access and don't have access to social media. So it's a version of Android that is stripped down to the basics. The phones will give you access to making calls, sending text messages, taking pictures, and access to a few other basic apps. So let me show you the phone first, just so you can see exactly what is offered. So this is the main home screen. Again, this is the Gab phone. They also offer a Gab phone plus, which is a slightly larger screen. This is uh, just the basic model here. So on the home screen, you can see we have a phone app, messages, contacts, we have a camera, we have an audio app that you can connect to your computer and you can transfer your own music to. There's a calendar, gallery, a video app. If you swipe up, here you can see there's a few more apps you've got access to. So calculator, a clock, FM radio, when you connect wired headphones into the phone, there is a Gab Music app. It is a separate subscription you can purchase um, to give you access to clean kit friendly music. And then you have a voice recorder. So that is it. You'll notice there's no Play Store. There basically are only a few other apps that you can download to the phone and, and those can be downloaded from the computer when you sign into the Gab account. But again, the parent has to do it and they have to push those apps to the phone. So it's great to see that it's just, again, a very limited version of Android and really the basics that would be needed. So the phone can be used primarily for just keeping in contact. So it's great that the phone is just very simplified. There's not a lot of extra distractions. Again, no social media, there's no web browser. There's just apps to be able to keep in contact. And I wanna show you what the uh, parent side of the app looks like. So here I have another phone that this would be what a parent would see. So you would download the MyGab app, and here you'll be able to track where the phone is. You'll be able to communicate easily with the phone. Right here, you can see there is an option to ping the phone. So if, let's say your kid loses the phone, or uh, the phone is somewhere in the house but they can't find it, you can tap this button and it will ping the phone. The phone will make a loud noise so you can find it. There is a locate feature as well that will allow you to find the phone easily. Let's say, oh, I think I left it at school. You can open the app and ping the phone and be able to easily uh, track down where it is and it will pull up the exact address for you to see. You can call the phone right through the app or obviously through you know, your regular phone app. You can message the app easily or message the phone easily just tapping on the messages button here. So this is one, one of the things that I love is again, the parent side gives you full visibility of where your kid is, allows you to easily communicate with them. And it also allows you to account for the fact that kids are gonna lose their phone and you'll be able to still ping it right from your phone. If your kid's phone, if the battery gets low, it'll also send you a ping as well. And it'll tell you, hey, it's time for them to charge their phone. If you tap on this little uh, notifications button here, this is the notification I got earlier today. I said, hey, Timmy's device needs charging. So um, if they forget to charge the phone, you can let them know. Obviously, the phone is not very helpful if they forget to charge it, right? So that uh, those alerts are going to help you to make sure that they are on top of their phone. Um, and just to show you a few more things, so this is the map tab. This is the devices tab that just specifically just shows, uh, you know, each kid's phone. Um, and then there is a profile page as well that will give you some additional information. Um, but I love that it's just simplified. It's super simplified. Now, some of you might say, hey, this is really cool, but I'm not ready for my kid to necessarily have a phone yet, but I'd like to know where they are and be able to communicate with them. And in that case, you may want to consider purchasing the Gab Watch. Now, the Gab Watch is even more stripped down than the phone. So this is the watch right here, Gab Watch 2. And, you know, just as an example, like my daughter is like five, so I, I don't even want her to have a phone yet, but I would consider giving her the watch because guess what? If she goes somewhere with a friend 
you know, or we have her, you know, someone's babysitting or whatever, like now we're able to track where she is at all times using the watch. And just to show you, so this profile is just the watch profile. So if I go here, we have some extra resources that are set up just for the watch. So you can actually set up what are called safe zones. So for example, you could make their school a safe zone. And so if they ever left school, or maybe you know you made your house a safe zone, right? So if they ever left the house and you didn't know about it, you would get an alert that tells you, hey, your child has left the safe zone. So all these extra built-in features that just make it even easier for you to just keep track of where your kids are. Now this is the home screen of the watch. I love that it's just, it's fun, it's super kid-friendly. Um, another cool thing is that the watch will allow you to track steps as well. So, you know, that's a fun little element there. A lot of kids want their own Fitbit or Apple Watch, and guess what? You may not be ready to spend that kind of money, but this is a nice alternative that will allow you to track where they are, and also it'll allow them to track their steps. So as I swipe left, you can see there is a call tab where you can have them call you, and you can set up other contacts that'll be programmed into their phone that they can call and they can't add their own contacts. Only you would be able to program the contacts in. Now, as we keep swiping left, let's call history. Here is a message tab, so you can actually send them text messages as well. You could say, hey, I'm here, and they'll get a ping on their watch. As we keep swiping, there's some other built-in things like a timer, there is an alarm clock, and some fun painting applications and, and a photo gallery as well. So. Uh, but as you can see, it's very stripped down to just basic things. And again, because I have such a young child who I'm not ready to give a phone to, I would consider getting them the Gab Watch 2 over the phone. So anyway, guys, these are just some of the basic things I wanted to share. I've been super um, excited about these two products because um, I have a, like, not only do I have kids, but I have a lot of friends who also have kids. And it's a constant conversation about you know, my kid wants a phone, I'm not ready for them to have a phone, what do I do? And finding this was just such a godsend because now there is something that is kid friendly, that doesn't have access to um, social media and the internet. Obviously, you know the internet has so many things that are not good for kids. And so guess what? This eliminates the issue of them seeing something they're not supposed to see or stumbling onto something that they're not supposed to stumble onto simply by just getting rid of it. No browser, no social media. So anyway, those are the basics of the phone and the watch. Now let's move into the plans. I wanna show you the pricing of how it works with Gab Wireless. So here is the Gab Wireless website and I wanna break down how the pricing works exactly. Now you'll see two different prices next to each product. You have the full price, full retail price, and then you have the discounted price. So let's tap on one so you can see the breakdown. So here are the options. You can either get a 20% discount on the device um, that will lock you into a two-year contract. Now the monthly service price is just $25. That's 25, it doesn't change no matter which option you're on. The only difference is, if you want that 20% off discount up front, you're gonna be locked into a two-year contract with Gab. Um, if you want a 10% discount, then you can just opt for a one-year contract, or you can pay the full retail price and not be under a contract. You would be in a month-to-month -month agreement. So for example, you'd pay the 150, and then your monthly uh, service price would be just $25, and then Guess what? It's month to month. You keep it as long as you want. You decide you don't want it anymore. You can cancel it. Um, and for that $25, you're getting um, active GPS tracking. You're getting unlimited talk, unlimited text, and you're getting Gab Music Kids Safe streaming as well. So those are some of the basic things that you're going to get for that $25 a month. So it really depends on you and what makes more sense to you. Now, I also want to point out that on Gab's website, if you tap on the shop tab, they have obviously the, uh, three, these three devices, two phones, one watch. They have a Bluetooth speaker and they have a ton of accessories so you can get um, specific cases to protect the phone. You can get screen protectors. 
Um, if you're going to get gab for multiple kids, obviously you want to get different colors for the cases so that kids are not fighting or, oh, it's my phone, that's your phone. You know, make sure they can distinguish which one is theirs. Um, and um, I've uh, been able to partner with Gab. And so um, if you use my code, code H2Tech, you're going to get $25 off of your purchase. So if you think about it, if you were to just do the full retail option and then use my code H2Tech, you would get it down $25. So um, if you're thinking about Gab, I definitely would say this service is totally worth trying out. Um, for the simplicity of the interface, for the fact that it's just a an option that really strips away a lot of the distraction. Like, guess what? You can't download Instagram. You can't download Snapchat. You can't download Facebook. Literally, what you see is what you get. Like what I showed you on the phone, those are the only apps that you can get for it. And again, there's like 10 more apps that you can push to the phone. A few other reading apps that are available, but that's it. So all those other social media apps are not even available. And so for that reason, this will allow you to keep it simple. You can keep in contact with your kids, know where they are and not have to worry about anything else. So do me a favor guys, first hit that like button. If this video was informative and helped you in making your decision about the Gab wireless service. Second, leave me a comment down below. Let me know if you're considering buying a Gab. Let me know if you have used the service before and you have any feedback you'd like to share for people who are trying to make their decision. And also, if you end up buying one, let me know if you got the Gab Phone or the Gab Phone Plus. I'd love to hear that in the comment section down below. Um, again, that code H2Tech is going to get you that $25 off of your purchase. That code is going to expire fast, so I don't want you to miss out. So make your purchase, use that code, get that discount, try out the service and comment down below and let me know how things are going with the phone. Thanks again for watching guys. Take care and as always, have a good one.